welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have an epic unboxing for you guys. We have this massive white box. It's actually pretty freaking hefty. Freaking hefty, 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 the trash bags. Not talking about those today. We're talking about some epicness right here. Not trash, not garbage, not Monday Night Raw. We're talking about MDT Live slash Vindication right here with some epicness in this package right here from my boy GJL Wrestling. Geo, what a freaking homie slice. I have already opened it, and I will say he did leave us some notes. One of them is a, uh, is a fantasy booking for Vindication, which I'm not going to read because I don't want to, you know, uh, let you guys know anything about that. I'll keep that to myself. He also left us a cheat sheet, and it includes everything that is inside of this box here, and it is quite a few items. I'm actually really, really excited for a lot of it, and I didn't, you know, examine everything. I just kind of opened it and glanced over it and stuff like that. So, with that being said, guys, I am going to give you all my reactions to everything. There's some really cool things in here that I'm really excited about, and Geo, you're a freaking boss, bro. You are freaking amazing. Shout out to you, bro. Go give this man a follow, GJL Wrestling on Instagram. I'll plug it in there. You guys can go follow him, but let's go ahead and open this ish up and just kind of break down what we got going on. The first thing that I noticed, guys, and this is actually hilarious, is Holmes and Watson. And me and my wife, Victoria, we are huge fans of Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. We love Step Brothers. It's one of our favorites of all time. And we did not go see this when it hit the theater, so I appreciate this. I know it's completely random, but I'm really happy you sent me this, and I'm literally going to watch that this week, and I appreciate you. So we're definitely going to check that out. But that is not what the channel's about, you know, movies and ish like that. We are all about the figures, and we have some epicness in here, guys. So let's go ahead and start off. We're starting off with a figure that I never got, and it is the Fan Central Big Show figure. Do have a little freaking uh, paint scuffage right here on the chesticle, and that kind of is upsetting. But you know what? I can actually fix that. No big deal, brother. I appreciate you sending me this because I have never gotten this figure, and it is absolutely hands down the best Big Show figure of all time. Like, look at this freaking head pivoting right here. I mean, he's got great articulation. I'll probably switch out these knee pads because they're god awful. I know they're accurate, but they're they're just god awful. They're, they're god awful. Great America attire going on, so it's it's excellent. I really love this big show, and I'm super happy to have it now in the collection. I love the massive hands they give him, too. Next up, guys, we have another great figure, and it is my man Chris Benoit, and I got this. My boy sent it to me here, and I got it for the head sculpt. We're going to put this on a Mattel figure, and we're going to have some more custom Chris Benoit's, and not only one, guys, we have two custom Chris Benoit is coming soon. You got the screaming face and this face. And I want to ask you guys down in the comment section below, I've always, I've like really struggled with this in my mind, but you guys know how the pick fed, the MDT pick fed is kind of personal, right? It has like, you know, like we talk about storylines. I'm on commentary. Me and Brad are talking about storylines and stuff. And I've thought about before, like Chris Benoit is one of my favorite of all time. And so, you know, it's terrible what he did. You know, it's horrific. It's awful. It's a tragedy. And you know what? It, it's just terrible. But I've thought about in the past, you know, maybe bringing Chris Benoit to the pick, the pick fed, but I just don't know how I could book him because in my head when I'm commentating and stuff, it's like I'm, I'm cheering on this guy or I'm, you know, congratulations to Chris Benoit or whatever the hell, and then in reality, this man's a murderer and you're freaking giving light to a murderer, allegedly a murderer, like the evidence points towards him and stuff, but it's just unfortunate, man. I would love to do like, maybe we can do a one-off or something, I don't know, but I freaking love Chris Benoit. It's just terrible, man, but I, I just want to let me know down in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Don't you think it's, do you think it's distasteful or bad to put Chris Benoit in the pig fed? Or do you think, nah, bro, it's okay. It's just fantasy action figures, bro. You're overthinking it. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. So next, guys, we have the King of the Ring ringside exclusive Shane McMahon from the match with Kurt Angle. I already have this figure, but I've always mentioned in videos, I don't know if he threw this in because I always mention in videos how I want another one to make some different customs and stuff, so maybe he saw that and really, you know, wanted to just help a man out, but I really appreciate it, man. This figure is bomb as hell, and, you know, we can just hit, like, epic elbow drops off the freaking top, just freaking plummet and destroy kids' families with it. So I'm really excited for this, man. Freaking epic sauce, and uh, you know, they didn't kill the head sculpt, but uh, maybe we can make an epic custom out of this. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a basic figure, and it is the TNF Walmart exclusive basic Seth Rollins that came with the accurate S Seth Rollins vest. He threw this in because he said that uh, you know, I asked him if he had this figure and he did, and it has the accurate vest. It's the reason that I wanted to track this down. It also has white open knee pads that I want to fix up on another figure, so I am really happy with this. It's great, and then after I take off the vest and knee pads and the head sculpt it'll probably go in the crowd or something but what an epic figure nonetheless 
Next up, guys, we have a bunch of crazy accessories in here, like all kinds of crazy stuff. We also have these little mini action wrestler, what are they called? Mini, mini farts in a bag. Let me see what they got. Mini, mini micro, uh, micro aggressive, flat, flitty, flatty, flitty, micro wrestlers. Got it. I think this is supposed to be Dusty Rhodes, if I'm not an idiot. I think it's supposed to be Dusty Rhodes. Nice. Next up, we have a few more. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin. I revealed it before I pulled it out. So we have Dusty Rhodes, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Roman Reigns, which looks good. And then I think we have one more of the iconic Sting. So there's these. I don't think I own any of these. Actually, I do. I have a couple John Cena's up there for my boy Rodney. But these are going to go on the fan mail shelf. Really excited for these. Freaking epic sauce. I love little figurines like this. So if you guys want to send figurines and stuff, let's get them so we can put them up on display, man. The fan, the fan shelf is actually overflowing, so we need to get some more in here. A bigger shelf, not more fan mail. I mean, I love fan mail, and I appreciate it and freaking love it and awesomeness and salad. So definitely, we do need more fan mail, but we need to clear out some room on the fan mail shelf. Next up, guys, we have this crazy little street sign that says Extremist Boulevard. And it's kind of funny because, like, I immediately go to, like, I don't know, like, Extremist Boulevard. I don't know, it's just funny, but it's just a random little street sign right there. Next up, we have the Jack's Money in the Bank briefcase, which you can open. And this is my second or third of these, which I can always enjoy. You can use these for setups. You can use these for the pick fed, little details here and there. So these are always appreciated. Fill that hoe up with money or something. We have an epic accessory right here, guys. And it is, I believe this is from a Jack's figure. And it is the Jack's pizza. You can see all the details in there. Look at the pepperonis. Come in here, paint up the pepperonis, paint up the crust. You know, add some, uh, cut this off, add a hinge to the, to the freaking pizza box. And you would have an epic epic little pizza box there. I mean, you still do, but uh, yeah, you see a pizza right there. See, Jax used to give us all the good stuff, man. Jax had those epic accessories. You even have the freaking slice that's getting pulled away right there with the slimy cheese sculpted in. So, how do you beat that, man? Do you have a Jax sliced cheese freaking pepperoni pizza, man? Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tombstone that says R.I.P. You got some skulls here, got a skull there, some wings, some crossbones, and it does break in half. I tried to stand it up, but it would not stand up, so I don't know if that's like a thing, but it will not stand, so that's unfortunate, but we appreciate it anyways. Uh, next up, guys, we do have, uh, this is this is probably one of my favorite parts, guys. He threw in four different John Cena hats. So we have the Elite 7, the Elite whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Where's the other hats at? We have the uh, Elite 17 slash Elite uh, Best of Pay-Per-View. And we, uh... Actually, I'm going to need that, so set that right there. There's another hat in here that is the Elite 23, I think. Where is the hat? Oh, there it is. We have the Rise Above Hate hat. So he threw in four John Cena hats, which is so appreciated, man. Thank you so much. That's freaking beast mode right there. And not only did he include those guys, he included this little mannequin hat, or this this little head uh, model thing that you can plop the head on. So if you wanted to make like a, if I wanted to make like a John Cena room or something, I could get a bunch of these and put these on a shelf and then have all the hats displayed. That would be sick as hell. I've actually thought about building a diorama of that, but if I were to do that, I would need a lot of these, so if anybody has any more of these, I would gladly take them, or I would trade for them or something. This is epic, man. Thank you so much. I've never seen this accessory in person. I think it came with a Jax figure, if I'm not mistaken, but that's so cool that you can plop the hats on it, you can put chains on it, you can do all these different things, so nice little mannequin head there. Next up, guys, we have a few more things. We have the pieces that build up the King of the Ring glass window that comes with the ringside exclusive Shane McMahon, so I'm not too worried about that. We've seen that before. He also threw a Jack's door in, which looks great. I always love these, man. They're freaking underrated. It's got great paint, paint detail in here. You have the doorknob ripped off. This can actually push out a little bit. You got some hinges on there. All, all, really, really nice stuff going on. Really nice sculpt as well. We also have another piece of that King of the Ring glass. Another piece of the King of the Ring glass. Couple pieces. Go ahead and break that. Kick it. Kick, kick, get We have a little trophy that came with the Festival of Friendship playset with Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. We have a table that is, oh snap, what is this? Is this a Bullet Club table? What in the blue hell is this? Oh, shit. Shit nasty. Oh, is this a Jack's table that he freaking painted on? Bro, that is sick as hell. Bullet Club, Bullet Club logo, BC for life, just too sweet. Two sweets, hashtag beast. That's sick as hell. 
That's sick as hell, and I've never even thought about customizing a table, so maybe you need to do that, man. Maybe I need to customize a table. And this is a Jack's table, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a Jack's table, because I remember these back in the day. I had these same exact tables. Uh, this is before they implemented the little middle part that holds the table together, and you had to, like, uh, do it like you fold a box, you know, this side and then over that side, and bam, clicks together, and then smashy-dashy. So that's freaking sweet, man. Love that. That's awesome. We have a sink, a kitchen sink, which is Jack's. And look at, I mean, dude, look at the paint detail. You got the crack. You get the rag. You get the slime in there. You get the blood. You get the sink that actually rotates. You get the pipe down here. You get some more details. So Jax was bringing it, man. I wish it was breakaway, but it's still nice. You could actually make a kitchen bathroom sink fart bag out of this. You want to plug this into the wall and build a diorama out of it. That's awesome. We got some more stuff in here, guys. This is really funny, and I don't know where the hell this came from, but it is a Puerto Rico barrel, and it has apples at the top, and you can actually shoot the apples out at people, and I don't know. There's only two of them. I thought all of them came out, but not a big deal. I freaking love that. Maybe we can just maul somebody down with some apples. I don't know. Wherever the third one went, there's another one somewhere. There it is. So we're just getting all kinds of sick-ass accessories on this episode. Love this. Uh, we have a few more things. I don't want to get into the baggies just yet. I want to get through the rest of the stuff before we get to the baggies because the baggies are the epicness. Okay, so here's a part of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy that came with the Big Show Fan Central figure. So I don't want to... Uh, you guys know what that's about. We've seen that uh, a bunch of times. We have another piece of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophy. Another piece... We have a clock that he says he wants to see me hang in the GM's office, and I agree. I definitely need something on the walls. That thing is so ugly. So I like this clock, and I'm definitely going to hang it up. We also have a car door, which looks really good. Uh, did this come in a battle pack? Let me know down in the comment section below. I think it came in a battle pack of some sort. And then we have the last piece of that King of the Ring set. We have a Tyson Kid slash Cesaro hoodie, and it does have glitter on it, so it's like customized there. Very nice. We have another piece of the trophy. We have another piece of the Bullet Club table. We have a Slammy Award. And we have a little bit of the bubbly. Ooh! Very nice. Very, very nice. And we have a barbed wire bat that does not have the barbed wire actually painted on there. But, you know, it's all good. I could easily do that myself. And I think that is it besides these last two figures in the baggie. And one of these is a custom wrestler that he made. So I am excited to find out what that is. But this one is a figure that we also talked about that I did. Get the bag open, Brad. This one I'm actually really excited for. Never owned this figure before. I've owned figures of this guy, but I've never owned this specific figure. So I'm actually really excited to, ac uh, to actually have this in the collection here. But it is the Hall of Fame or Legends Brian Pillman. Look at this figure. Figure, man. It's even got the nice vest on there. You got the cross on there. You got the freaking Brian Pillman tights going on, the black and red. And this is a great base for a Chris Benoit figure. Look at that head sculpt. I mean, this is a fantastic figure that I've never owned before. So I'm very happy to finally add this to the collection. Very beautiful looking stuff. And Brian Pillman has found a nice home here in MDT. Great figure, man. And now this is the freaking final moment that I have been waiting for. And I am excited to open this hoe up. So let's go ahead and crack this open and find out what we got going on with this. He's called the Reaper, guys. This is a custom create a superstar that he made with his figures. And I'm, again, I'm really excited to see exactly what he looks like. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so he's called the Reaper. Let's find out what we got going on. So he has his nice little death robe going on here. He's got a freaking Reaper staff. That is freaking badassery. What did this come with? Is this a Create a Wrestler uh, Superstar pack or something? Is that what this came with? Or did this come with an Elite? I, I can't remember. Uh, that's beautiful. Love that. We also have a black microphone, which is very nice. A Network Spotlight robe. And this is the thing. I didn't tell you, bro, but I really desperately needed... Uh, another one of these robes like I was actually needing it for a specific reason and so now that you sent me one I need one less one that I needed so thank you so much man that is freaking baller that you included this and I didn't even like ask for it or anything you just you just included it so that's awesome but who is it who is it oh my god it's Finn Balor it's Finn Balor in the robe with the skull mask and what is he wearing underneath is this a top talents what is this what is this it's a oh what what is this he's wearing jogging pants too Brad okay so we have the the great network spotlight robe we have the microphone and not only that Finn Balor is rocking the pants and he has a belt on and it's the top talents 2018 with the black kick pads I actually like the way Finn Balor looks with these jogging pants on man that's freaking badassery I like that I like these jogging pants I like the belt you gave him 
that's freaking sweet, nasty farticles, man. What we need to do now is I need to line up all this ish. But what a freaking great unboxing, man. I think he killed it. GJL Wrestling, guys, go give him a follow. Geo is a baller. He hooked us up with some epic stuff, and this is this is incredible, man. This is excellent freaking fart bags, and uh, this, this is nice. So what I'm going to do, guys, is go ahead and set everything up, and then we're going to get the hell out of here, man. What a freaking, this gets me excited, man. What an epic ass unboxing. All right, guys, well, here's our whole entire haul all lined up, and my God in heaven, what an epic unboxing, man. What a beautiful looking set, man. I think GJL Wrestling, Geo Boy, you freaking murdered it here today with the epic hauls. I love everything. I love the way everything looks. Everything turned out fantastic, bro. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart and everyone over here at MDT for the epic unboxing and all the epic fan mail you sent over here today. Enjoyed the letter so much. I appreciate it so much. You are a beast. And regarding your Vindication Fantasy booking, I can't say anything, Brad. But thank you so very much, man. That, again, that means so very much to me. And I hope you guys did enjoy the unboxing video. Comment down below what you thought about the Chris Benoit situation. I'd really appreciate it. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.